Hi Fusion family, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, bienvenidos. My name is Joanna, nice to meet you. And please consider subscribing and joining our fantastic Fusion family where we're all about good food and diversity. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys how I make one of my all-time favorite Mexican comfort foods, elotes. They're creamy, they're savory, they're just so, so tasty. But I'm gonna be honest, they're not the friendliest on your waistlines. I'm just craving these like crazy today and so is my husband, probably because it's raining and we haven't had them in a really, really long time. So I'm just using this video as an excuse to make them and uh, share the recipe with you guys, at least how I make it in my family. I'm gonna leave all of the ingredients as well as the measurements down in the description box below, as well as some alternatives because some of the ingredients may be a little hard to come by, so I will definitely leave some alternatives for you guys. But anyways, yeah, enough talking, a comenzar. Here are the ingredients we'll be using today. Any seasonal kind of corn will do. Cotija cheese, butter, Mexican cream. Some options for corn garnishes are squeezable margarine, ground cayenne pepper, any hot sauce you like, and even some tajin, which is a tangy spice seasoning. Fill a large pot with about 14 cups of water. Set over medium high flame, cover and bring to a boil. In the meantime, wash and remove the corn husk and silk from each ear of corn. Cut and remove the base of each ear of corn and any tips that don't have any corn kernels. Here I have six cleaned ears of corn. I'm going to prepare four of these on a stick similar to how they're commonly sold by street vendors, but I'll be using two ears of corn to show you how you can also prepare this snack in a cup instead. Remove the corn kernels from the two cobs using a knife. Careful not to cut your fingers. Collect the kernels and set aside in a bowl. Now we're ready for the next step. To the boiling water, I'm going to add the whole ears of corn as well as add some salted butter, which will give a nice color and flavor to the corn. Cover and set a timer for 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, remove the cooked ears of corn and set aside. To a smaller pot, add the corn kernels, some hot water, and lastly some salted butter. Place on medium heat, cover, and set a timer for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, this is what your cooked kernels will look like. To a small mixing bowl, add some of the Mexican cream along with some mayonnaise. Mix until well combined. Traditionally, Mexican corn on the cob is served on a thick wooden corn skewer. I don't have any, so I'm using chopsticks instead and inserting them through the base until they're firmly in place. Here I'm using about two tablespoons of the cream mixture to evenly coat the entire ear of corn. Now, while rotating the ear of corn using the skewer, I like to drizzle some margarine in a zigzag pattern. Next, I'll evenly coat the ear of corn with some cotija cheese. You can use as much or as little as you like. I'm going to sprinkle on some cayenne pepper, but you can leave it plain or garnish with any other spice. Place about a cup of kernels that have been drained of some of the cooking liquid into a serving cup. Now I'm going to thoroughly mix in about two tablespoons of the cream mixture. Once combined, I'm making sure to flatten the top to make room for the cotija cheese. Now I'm going to drizzle some margarine on top of the cheese and finish it off by sprinkling some cayenne pepper on top. That's it! You can enjoy these any way you like by adding however much of any of the ingredients mentioned. There's really no wrong way to prepare this snack, just add whatever garnishes you enjoy most. Here I have some sprinkled with cayenne pepper, but you can also garnish with some hot sauce or with some tajin, which isn't spicy at all. You used to chase after the elotero. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, I know. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to join our fantastic family. And again, guys, like always, I'm sending you off with a un beso enorme. Se me cuidan, and I'll see you guys next time. Suerte! I need a booster seat. Yeah. But Pella's like...